Hi everyone. So as part of this problem, we need to generate numbers from 1 to 5000. Okay, so we need to do something like looping here. And for that, uh, we are going to use the concept of recursive CTE. Okay, so we will build the solution step by step. Okay, so let's get started. So what we need to do is uh, we need to start uh, from the number one. So one is our number. Okay, if I just run this query, it will generate number one. Okay, now what we will do is we will create it inside a CTE and let's call it as uh, num CTE or uh, just call it as CTE to avoid any confusion. Okay, so what we will do is we will select the data from this CTE. From CTE. Okay, so we will just get this uh, number here. Now we will build it on top of this. So what we will do is we will use union all and now we will write the recursive statement. So know that this is the first row that we have built. Now we will build the data on top of this. So what we will do is we are going to add one to this column like whatever the value it holds. We are going to add one to this give the alias as num okay and we are going to refer the same CTE. So we are going to refer the same CTE get the data from there add one to this column and store it as number. Okay, and then we will add one. Terminating condition. Okay, so what is this terminating condition that our num should be less than 10. That is we want or let's say our number to be less than five. Okay, let's run this and then we will walk through like how this uh, operates. Okay, so so it has generated the numbers from one to five. Now how has this uh, resulted into these numbers? So let's try to see it through the Excel. So what we have is one column that is num. So initially what we did is we added this uh, select statement so it will generate this output. Now, now what happens is. Whenever we execute this. This is our recursive uh, like the other rules that are generated are through this statement. OK, so what it will do is it will pick like when this statement will be executed. It will pick this. OK, and it will check whether it is here. I will add the condition so it will check if one is less than five. So this is a true condition, so it will process the. Select statement so it will. Increment it by one, so this will become one plus one that is two. OK, so then this is union together. OK, so we have this generated. Now when the next loop comes like it will keep uh, executing till this condition is satisfied till this condition holds true. So when the next statement is executed, it will check again if this number if this number is less than five if two is less than five. So still this condition holds true. So it will increment the number by one. So it will become three. OK. Again, it will execute as the condition is still to true. So it will check if three is less than five, which is correct. So it will add one to the number. So likewise, it will again check if four is less than five, which is again true. So it will add one to the number and the number will be five. Then it will check if five is less than five. So this condition is false. Five is not less than five. So it will come out of the loop come out of this uh, recursive uh, CT call and this is the output that will be returned. So this is what we have. OK, so this is the way we can loop through in uh, SQL. Now our ask is we have to generate the numbers from 1 to 5000. OK, so what we will do is 
this terminating condition since we have now generated number still 5 we have given the number as 5 so let's increment it to 5 okay now let's run this and see the output so it is throwing an error what error it is throwing that the maximum recursion 100 has been exhausted so the maximum time the recursion can be achieved is 100 okay and here we want to reach to the number 5000 so what if we want to uh, go beyond 100 recursions so in that case we have to add this uh, option here okay option max recursion say uh, we add it at 6000 for example okay and then rerun the query and see the output okay so selected it executed and now if we see the output it has started from number one and incremented by one and we have the output generated till 5000 so this way we can uh, loop through and generate the numbers so know that this is your base condition kind of this is your starting uh, first row and on top of that this is where the recursion or the loop gets applied and this is the terminating condition if we don't mention this uh, terminating condition it will be kind of infinite loop so i'll just show that as well so if you don't specify this this is an infinite loop so what will happen is it will fail over the period of time so here again it has gone through for 6000 recursions and it has exhausted because there is no terminating condition so it will keep going keep going and when it will go for 6001 uh, recursion that time it will fail so that's why we need to have a recursive condition and whenever we have our recursion or the loop going beyond 100 we have to specify this option so this way we can achieve uh, the results so hope uh, you found this uh, video useful and if so please uh, like the video and subscribe the channel thank you